another 1,000 rep challenge. One thousand sledgehammer tire slams. I'm just kidding. That belongs to him. All right, guys, welcome back to Rob Lifts. Today we are doing one thousand sledgehammer tire. So why are we doing this? Mainly because I look badass holding a hammer. Yeah, that's the main reason right there. No other reason. All right, so you guys know I like to challenge myself. I like to find different ways to challenge myself in ways that are gonna make me grow mentally and physically. Plus, I just like doing really hard things that other people don't wanna do. I don't know why. Anyways, reason I chose sledgehammers. So. True story, sledgehammers have a bunch of crazy benefits. They increase your strength, increase your flexibility, increase endurance, explosive energy, core stability, your grip, and your rotational strength. Plus, increase your ability to look badass. Again, holding a sledgehammer, is just it just looks fucking cool. Why you think Chris Hemsworth carries around a hammer? Anyways, this is our challenge for today. We're gonna try to do this in under one hour, but if we don't finish in one hour, then we're just gonna extend it to two hours because I don't like to fail, all right? All right, so I'm actually really scared for this one. I actually, it just seems like it's gonna be a pain in the ass to do 1,000 sledgehammer swings. But again, it's always about getting outside of that comfort zone and pushing yourself beyond your limits. So we're just gonna stop being a like David Goggins would say, and just freaking do it. As it's all about, just make yourself do it, get out of that comfort zone and just freaking do it. 1,000 tire swings coming up under one hour, maybe two. All right, let's go. 50 squares, 20 reps each time, 1,000 reps. Let's get it. All right, that's 100. <sighs> what am I doing? I should just go beat my meat instead. Seems funner right now and more enjoyable. All right, back to it. All right, there goes 200. Heart's uh, pounding a little quickly. Tire keeps moving back and forth. I don't know if you noticed that, but we're barely at 200, so let's keep going and see what happens. This is gonna get a lot harder, I know it is. All right, so we're at 300. This requires a, a lot of spine movement and abdominal core work. I have to like brace my abs the entire time. Uh, uh, it's a lot of work. 
All right, back to it. All right, 400. And I'm starting to feel it. Uh, it's getting harder to breathe. My heart's pounding a little bit. It's like the first time you see a woman in your entire life and your heart starts beating, you're like, oh my God. My hands are getting a little fucked up, but other than that, it's not as hard as I thought, you know. But again, pounding the meat later, it's gonna hurt, cause uh, look at these hands. All right, let's keep going. All right, that's 500. We're not doing so bad on time either. We are at 27 minutes, so not too bad. We're halfway through. Like I said, I think the hardest part about this is having to brace your core the entire time and making sure you're doing it right, especially because you don't want to get injured. If you're just flopping around, you probably injure your back or something. So if you ever try this, make sure you brace the core. Let's keep going. All right, so 600, we're more than halfway through. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, today I felt really low energy. I actually slept in more than I should have. I slept in like an extra hour and a half and I was listening to this video by David Goggins and I just kept hearing him in my ears saying, don't be a little B word. So I was like, all right, fucking hit it today. I'll make myself do it whether I don't want to or not, because that's what Gabe Goggins said will help you grow. Doing stuff when you don't want to, getting out of that comfort zone. Oh well, let's go, let's keep going. All right, 700 deep. It's getting a little harder to do the motion of slamming the hammer on the tire. I don't know if I wanna keep going, but I am gonna keep going. There's a dog crying. I don't know where it's coming from. I think it's on that side. Anyways, gotta keep going. Never quit.
sometimes, well, like I'm in the middle, uh, oh, that's 800, by the way. Sometimes when I'm in the middle of these challenges, I feel like I get a sense of clarity into my own life and stuff like that. It's kind of trippy. Does that happen to any of you guys when you challenge yourself or just when you're like deeply engaged in exercise or something? It might just be me. Uh, it might just be kind of weird. But it might be you too. You might just be weird too. We might just all be weird together. Let's keep going. Let's finish. So that is 900. I have a boo-boo on my hand, probably from beating my tire so often with the hammer and the grip. Anyways, we're at 900. Stop whining. Get it done. We just have 100 left. Let's do it. All right, I made it, barely. 59 minutes, 14 seconds. Literally made it by one, less than a minute. Literally less than one minute. See these tears right here? Let me show you. I don't know if you can see the holes on that or not, but there is tears all the way around the tire now. Those weren't there before that, but I guess a thousand swings with a sledgehammer might do that. They're just also shitty old tires too. Look at those hands, disgusting, gusting hands. Anyways, like I said, you look cool doing this. The only reason you wanna do this challenge. Well, I mean, you build up our body strength as well and mobility and flexibility and all that crap. But it is rough on your hands. It is a tough challenge. But again, glad I did it. Glad I pushed myself to do it. Sometimes I question myself on these decisions when I'm like, before I even do the challenge. But then I do them and I just feel amazing. And I feel amazed at myself for being able to complete some of these ridiculously hard challenges. It just shows you that if you push yourself and you don't give up, you can do things that might amaze you. They might be weird to other people, and other people might look at you like you're crazy, but it just shows you what you're capable of if you really want to be capable of it. And because of that, I want to just keep, like I mentioned before, I just want to keep pushing myself more and more, and I want to be able to do things when I'm 40 that I wasn't able to do when I was 20, you know? Just that growth, being able to do crazy things that, you know, in reality, are we're capable of a lot more than we actually think. And, you know, obviously David Goggins is a huge testimony to that. So look up to that dude just because of how much he can push himself to do. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'm Outsies. Social media links will be at the bottom. If you want to support my channel and buy some supplements, links will be at the bottom. Feel free to do that. Feel free to comment any other challenge you might want me to try one day at the bottom. And uh, have a nice day. Peace out. Thank you.